So, when it comes to nitrate, nitrate was not uh, origin by uh, Arkin. It was uh, uh, it was established by the Zach Nelson, the CEO of uh, NetSuite. And recently, the Oracle has uh, purchased NetSuite. So, NetSuite is a uh, is a combination of ERP as well as a CRM system. So, ERP in a sense, enterprise resource planning, uh, which which will uh, which helps us to create the transactions records in NetSuite and allows uh, financials and allows website designing everything in uh, ERP system. And the CRM was custom relationship management. So this will help, uh, this tool will help uh, to increase the customer data, like customer database uh, on online systems or any other systems. So NetSuite is completely divided into two completed tasks. What is functional task as well as a technical task? So first we'll start with the functional. So then uh, the functional training with starts with NetSuite basis. Uh, in the basics, like uh, we'll uh, just overview what is a NetSuite and what is the architecture of the NetSuite and uh, what are the uh, how the NetSuite is going to functional uh, and wh what are the steps we need to do for to basic setup and uh, what are the configurations we need to do. So that comes completely around uh, NetSuite basics. And the second one was uh, set preferences. Set preferences is like uh, you are defining your own uh, your own preferences in the NetSuite account. So you, you you can design your dashboard. You can you can you can design your own uh, coloring of that. And so you can make uh, your this, the changes of the NetSuite account as as you need it. And the third one was dashboards. Dashboards is like a, a small portlets on the screen. So, which will show you the uh, geographical or uh, report format of reports. So, when, when you when you log into the account, so the dashboards will be displayed to you, so that you can, in a single graph, you can get the complete information of the transactions which are created on a particular day or a particular month. CRM, CRM, which is called as a customer relationship management. So, in this, uh, it will helps you helps your uh, your uh, NetSuite customers to uh, to increase the customer database and create marketing campaigns or sales campaigns for the uh, customers to increase the sales. So this complete cycle is called as a CRM process. So CRM, CRM is like customer relationship management. So here. Uh, the client, the NetSuite customer will create, get the contacts from the uh, different customers or sales steps of the customer who is going to purchase his products. Create some sort of record is called as a lead record. Further discussions, uh, further discussions happens with the customer. If the customer is accepted, the customer's uh, NetSuite customer quotation then the, he is converted into a prospect record. Once the, once the end customer start purchasing the goods from the NetSuite client, then he is converted into a customer. So this process of handling all the stages of uh, customer is called as a CRM. And uh, CRM will handle the sales campaigning as, as, as well as marketing campaigns. Sales campaigning is nothing, nothing but like they will be creating, uh, they will be sending a huge emails to the customer to increase his sales. And the marketing was like, uh, like uh, sending um, email, it's like similar to sales campaigning, but marketing was slightly different. Uh, like he is uh, he's selling his goods to the other retailers or other um, wholesalers is called as a mark marketing. And the next one was sales process. I think you can go here. So the sales process is like, so once the customer has built in NetSuite, once a, a CRM process convert the uh, lead to customer, 
then the customer will start purchasing the products from uh, and from the Netflix client. First, he will create an opportunity for uh, opportunity record to the Netflix client. Then the client will give the estimate to the uh, customer. Then the sale order will be raised for that estimate after the fulfillment process, invoice, uh, invoice process, invoice and payment process, like a payment uh, payment processing. If there is any return authorizations, then returns will be created. And the next one was the customer credit. If there, if there is any returns uh, given for the sales, then the customer will be credited back. This cycle completely is called as a sales process. And the next one was purchase process. So here you are, you are selling the goods to the customers. So before that, you need to have an inventory in your system, right? You need to have a physical quantity with you so that uh, you can sell your goods to the end customers. So first, you need to make the purchase process with vendors who is going to supply to the Netflix customer. For, the, for those uh, vendors, we need to raise a purchase order and we need to receive the goods and we'll, we'll, we'll make a bill payments and bill uh, payments, vendor returns and everything and against a vendor is called as a purchase process. accounting processes so in next week we can do anything like we can write a checks and we can make a deposits bank deposit transferring funds you can uh, use uh, credit cards reconciliation the bank statements uh, reconciliation the credit card statements everything will be done everything financial uh, operations will be done in banking process inventory Inventory is like that. So uh, you have now you have just uh, heard about the sales process and purchase process. But before that, uh, in NetSuite account, we need to establish the item configuration setup. So if you enable them, then you can create your own items in the NetSuite and you can sell them or you can purchase them with the different vendors. So there will be a lot of operations uh, can be done on inventory. So those are uh, bin management, uh, creating assembly, building work orders, advanced inventory, adjust inventories, worksheets, put put bin put away worksheets. I think uh, now you, you you like uh, once we get the account, then I will show you the how we need to create the item and how to create the uh, inventory, how to adjust the inventory. How to distribute the inventory and how to set up a bin for that and how to create the transfer orders so uh, the, uh, the complete inventory the complete part of handling the physical items comes under item management chart of accounts so like you have done the sales and you have done the purchases you have set up the account but uh, so end of the day, you are going to check with financials so for those, we need to set up the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is nothing but a list of accounts, banking accounts and uh, liable accounts, payment processing accounts, account payables and account receivables. So this type of uh, accounts will be done in chart of accounts. So chart of accounts is nothing but like set up a complete set of bank accounts in your next week so that the accounts will get affected by creating the sales or by creating the purchase orders the next one was currencies so next week can deal with multiple currencies across the world so so before starting the next week so we need to set up we need to have a we need to set up the which type of currency you are going to deal with And the currency exchange rates, and if there is an inter, if you have a, a worldwide business, you need to have a currency exchange rate set up. So if you are only in US, you don't need, we you don't need to set up the uh, currency exchange rates. But if you are doing your business on worldwide, then you you need to uh, set up current currency exchange rates. And the consolidated exchange rates is also the same, but uh, it is not change. I'll show you that on the screen. And the budgets, like uh, for every so in US market, there will be a four quarters per year. So every quarter they are going to do the budgeting of their account budgeting. 
So these budgets can be created in NetSuite and uh, maintained in NetSuite, and so that they, so that at the end of the day they can they can get the real picture of the budgets, how they use and how we how they got uh, income for those budgets. Accounting periods. Accounting periods in nothing sense like uh, creating the uh, accounts like. Uh, so you fun set of period is called as January to month. January to March is a first quarter. So this period is called as a uh, uh, Q1 period. So in the same way, they are going to set up some periods on the for every year. So these periods is called as a accounting periods. Expenses. So here uh, till now you have. Uh, you have discussed we have discussed about the only income process but there will be a lot of expenses which are going out from netsuite and uh, so this can be completely uh, tracked in accounts payable financials so like once we are like uh, if a customer comes with a new netsuite account so we need to configure them and then uh, we need to uh, we need to have a start uh, opening balances for those accounts. So for, for set up them, we will give the opening balances. And the customer statements, general entries, uh, general entries are mainly used for uh, balancing your accounts by credit and debiting the accounts. So these are completely uh, related to the financials. So this this can be understood by like we, uh, once you get to once we get the NetSuite account then you can show them on the screen so that you guys will can uh, understand easier with those and the next one was tax station so like uh, so uh, for doing the transactions in NetSuite we uh, for different countries or uh, for different states we need to set up the taxes so for set up those tax, uh, taxes is called as its tax stations. So there will be a tax period, tax code, tax schedules, tax group. So, uh, so this all comes for the sales and reporting purposes. And the next one was reports and sales such as. So these can be used for generating the reports or on our basis on our sales or on our uh, reports. So whatever uh, you want to get the report, they need to create a save searches or they need to create the reports so that they can get end of the uh, complete report of that uh, roles and permissions roles is nothing but like uh, for a NetSuite, single NetSuite account we, will, we can get multiple accesses access of for that account why because like uh, uh, there will be a lot of users of NetSuite account so that uh, everyone will not allow to see the complete uh complete information in NetSuite so that they can give some they can create some permissions to that and they can give only uh limited access to that so that the end user cannot see the complete uh, information regarding NetSuite so that we can this you can be used and uh in NetSuite and they can they can restrict the users to uh, see the complete visibility of NetSuite Customization. Customization is nothing but like uh, after creating the basic set of set up of NetSuite, we need if if a customer needs any uh, any fields or any records or any list, so this can be uh, we can create them by using customization. So we can create a custom fields, we can create a custom records, we can create custom list. So by customization, we can achieve the customer like a uh, client's requirement, uh, client's requirement, and we can uh, process them. Workflows. Workflow is uh, like uh, a sequence of steps, uh, which is to be performed in a sequential manner. is called as a workflow. So it allows to operate your, your NetSuite account in a, in a single. Uh, in a single flow, like uh, if you want to operate as a sales order records in a single process, so these workflows will help you to design that and uh, ac work accordingly. 
centers and tabs. So like uh, when you take the recipe icon, you will be get limited uh, functionalities. So if you want to extend them if by creating the tabs, categories and links, you can extend uh, on your own. So it comes, uh, you can create your own centers, you can create your own tabs, you can create your own categories, everything on that. So setup and preferences is like, so once we get the NetSuite account, so that is a complete uh, empty account. So based on the client requirements, we need to set up, uh, set up them and we need to enable the uh, functionalities which he is looking for. Imports, like imports is used to import the huge amount of uh, transactions or huge amount of data into NetSuite. So, so imports can be used. The imports can be done by CSV. And we can import all type of transactions into NetSuite. File management. File management is like uh, managing your folders in the, in the file cabinet. Like uh, you, are, you are storing your uh, complete uh, information regarding the, your uh, business process in the, in, your, in, in the files is called as a file management. So from here, it will start with the technical so scripting. So in scripting, we'll have different types of scripts to write. So uh, as this called, scripts are used for the generating a custom uh, functionalities on the records or any operations. So this will help the customer to uh, automate the complete process of his business. Web services. Web services is mainly used to interact, uh, to, to make interact between two other systems. Like I want to interact with uh, NetSuite as well as Amazon. So I'll create a web service for that. So, so that the two systems can interact and exchange the data from each other. So, so that uh, to build them, web services is completely used. And the e-commerce. E-commerce is like, so for every, uh, for every customer, they want to build some website to sell their products or sell, uh, to sell their services. So they need to set up the e-commerce website. Uh, so then NetSuite allows, uh, allows standard site and hosted by the NetSuite. And this is completely developed based on AWS DK. And so we need to design the website and we need to link with the NetSuite so that the, uh, it can pull the complete information from NetSuite and they can sell their products on there. So what are the orders created in e-commerce platform so that those can be imported into NetSuite. So uh, e-commerce, like, you can have a different types of categories, layouts, customized text. So like once we get the NetSuite access, uh, access we, we can start with the uh, practical link to you, the, what, are the, what are the functionalities which I have shown. I will uh, train you each and everything on that. <laughs> 